Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome back to Skyblock. So, I've been having a quick look through my quest book, and I've sorted out uh, some more of these sort of quests as far as monitoring them, but I've noticed that I can probably actually deliver quite a few of these in both the Go For The Flow and For The Hoarding. So I thought I'd start today by just cashing in some quests. So one of them here is for a bucket of meat. Uh, Oh, that's pink slime, that's white. So there's a bucket of meat. So we can get rid of that one, knock it out of the park straight away. Done. Claim reward. Let's enjoy some music. Okay, so I'm assuming I should put the bucket of meat back in there. That's fine. Um, I haven't got jelly crothium yet, but I can probably get it. Mushroom soup, I haven't got yet. Um, biofuel. So let's have a look at what we need to make a biofuel reactor. So a bioreactor is oh, potentially quite straightforward. I just need, yeah, a fermented spider eye, which I'm very surprised I'm not able to do. So that's that's easy. Um, just dump this down somewhere helpful for a second just because we're going to get this done let's get a tank I'll do a portable tank and we need the rubber saplings work we take rubber saplings yep take rubber saplings which is good It's going to make life a little easier. A crap load of rubber saplings. Jesus Christ. So that's... It's going to keep, keep escaping me because I've got it in what number of items. Uh, rubber. So I literally only need to make exactly a bucket's worth because it's just for a quest. Boom, bucket of biofuel, another quest completed. Done. So that's another heart. How many lives I've got at the moment? I've got loads of them. 36, yep. So we won't bother making any more biofuel as such. Uh, so what was the next quest that I could very easily do? You know, smashing out the park. Was I close to any Hell's Kitchen ones? So I need a thousand bacon mushroom burgers. I've got like 500 of these on the go, nearly 500. So just keep every now and again banging a few more on to be made. I'll get to a thousand eventually. Uh, oops. And so it's not quite there yet. And then now for the hoarding. I knew I had some of these. So I haven't found and killed any witches yet. And apparently I haven't killed any slimes yet. So we need to get some witches. And which one of these can I do? See, a thousand sticky pistons is a bit much. I can do glass, surely. There's 64 glass. And there's 54 clear glass. So I need to make 10 more of that. Shouldn't be a problem. So we yeah, will make some more of that in a second. Easy life. I haven't delivered a compressed sand. That's unbelievably easy to make a compressed sand, surely. It's just that. Boom. One compressed sand. I don't even, yeah, okay. And it wants a hundred double compressed sand. Cloud? Oh, cloud, I can get cloud. Cloud. So you need another 30 cloud. I'm sure the correct tool is to get cloud, but cloud should be easy to get. 
all we'll do is find the cloud. And then I think I can stand on cloud. Stand in cloud. Might need to bring that magnet with me. Oops. Just to make collecting cloud easier. Apparently I'm not allowed to block break the block that's in front of me. I'm above my sky block though, so all the cloud that falls down I should be able to collect. Even if it's not jumping over to me quite savage like. How many cloud have I got now? Twenty six. Sun is setting. Yeah, it's not, it's just not dire necessarily. Any slime spawning over here? Today's a creepy day. So I'm trying. I think I'm gonna move my mob mob grinder over there. I think if I have the mob grinder, the auto like a non-stop constant mob grinder over in the swamp, it will um, hopefully get me some slimes, which will obviously maintain my collection of slime balls much more efficiently and effectively. I don't know why I come into there because it's in here. I want to claim my reward. Awesome. So have I got my extra clear glass to have another heart Just dump that in there for now get rid of the cyclic summon spare cloud keep the reward bag my silk touch is because I needed to make something with silk touch and I can't remember what it was uh, the compressed sand was just done by a quest let's put this away for a second just to free up okay I'll just put the bifle bucket in there as well Free up some inventory slots. Okay, what else can I do? 10,000 soul sand, probably not. Seared stone. I have forgotten that it's just doing that non stop. So I'm still 400 off. I thought it was more than this. Quadruple compressed dirt. Maybe I want to set something up to build that. Maybe that's what I need to have a look at doing. Right. So 10,000 glass and 10,000 clear glass. That's a little bit much. I'm just going to be honest. That's a little bit much. But it's it needs to be done. So I guess I'm going to have to set up some uh, pole arriving systems to make just glass continuously. Was that really all I could do? I thought, I thought when I went through loads of them, I could, I could thought I've identified a, a few that I could do. Oh, there's a 16 million biofuel one. Awesome. Well, balls to you then. Balls to you all. What can I get in the bragging rights? Mine factory reloaded. Not very much. Vanilla. Quite close. Thermal expansion, ooh, three away. So I need machinist's workbench, a terrain smasher, and a nullifier. I can make those. So a terrain smasher I wouldn't have thought would be too difficult. Except that I have none of what they want. So an invar, pick, piston, really easy to make a piston, and a couple of them. So that's a terrain smasher. Done. Uh, it was a machinist's workbench. Done. Not even sure what that is, but I'll find out in a second. And there was like a nullifier, wasn't there? No, it was there. Nullifier. Bucket of lava. Do 
bucket of lava is not going to be difficult to come by considering I have this behemoth of lava just here. I'll have to find out what a nullifier does. Right, that was easy. So we just completed one of the like, bragging rights ones. Oh no, I missed that one. Sawmill. Ooh, that was not as easy or as close as I thought it was. So sawmill, again, it's going to require an invite axe, isn't it? I don't have. Yeah, it's the only thing I don't have. Excellent. Boom. Oh, you sneaky git. You added in a whole next tier. I wasn't I wasn't going to get the reward that I thought I was going to get. So you want hardened tanks, reinforced tanks, resonant tanks, storage boxes, hardened strong boxes, reinforced strong boxes, resonant strong boxes, tesseracts, and an illuminator frame, a crescent hammer. You bastard. You tricked me into thinking I was close to getting a, a cheeky little free one. Octopoly compressed cobble. That sounds like something I'm going to have to set up. But realistically, if I can set up like a cobblestone generator and some of these cyclic assemblers, surely let's have a quick play with that then. Let's get that on the go. Because I want to get through and complete as many of the challenges as possible. So we'll bin off these for now. I'll open my reward bag before I forget. So I've been getting hold of like millions of these like cyclic assembly things. So if I had an igneous extruder, really, I feel like I should have had an igneous extruder like made ready. Permanently. Uh, I need some item ducts. Uh, don't think I need a lever in that. Okay. We might even need an item duct, so I might be able to get this to work like in a row. Let's open my reward bag and I get a single sodding butterfly. Go and live in there. A single butterfly. That's totally useless to me. Okay, right. So the last little bit of this episode then, after we handed in a few quests, it's gonna just see if I can get like an octuple cobblestone gen machine going. Just leave it running in the background. Um, so let's think about this logically. So I need some cobblestone. Oh, no oh crap. Apparently the cloud cannot be clipped through. Okay, so let's see how this logic works behind here. So let's just build this platform out a little bit further, like so. And then smash all of that and put that there and that there and be like nothing comes in, that goes out that way and then we'll have you taking in from that side out that side and we'll say what you're going to make is press call zone and I didn't bring a bucket with me Two buckets, aren't I? So I'm going to need to claim a bucket of lava. And then just because it's easy to do so. Bucket of water. And that should make me infinite cobble. I don't know how fast it's going to make it, but not, not particularly fast. That brings that to life. So that starts putting cobble into there. With that one there, 
And again, we configure it to be in and out. We need to put a blank schematic in there, do we? So I'm going to find out making blank schematics is like the most ridiculously difficult thing ever. A blank schematic requires paper. Let's make five of these for now. Oh. Oh, it's like instantaneous. I forgot what the buttons are. There we go. So it needs eight of those. Which this is going to get. So I can I can definitely add more cobblestone to this. And that's going to get those. So this is going to make triple compressed. I'm lacking this. I can see I can see this working. And we need to configure that. Oops. To input and output, to give it a schematic. So these cycle exemplars are actually going to be quite useful in helping me with these ridiculous quests. Because this is going to start making double compressed, which is going to convert into triple compressed. So can I use call that the quadruple compressed cobblestone? I can't like copy it in. I'm going to have to wait until it builds one. This is only building it as slowly as this can produce it. So if we were to add like, a load of these, if I was just to go and grab a whole shit ton of cobblestone from my stack of almost unlimited cobblestone. Okay, I just dropped one. That's fine. I'll just drop one then. Wee down the hole. Just be like, have that. It is efficient at doing its job. I just made some of that. Made some of that. Just made one of them. Take a triple. I can just snake it, snake it forward, snake it backwards. I can do whatever I want, snaking it wise, can't I? I can move, I can move it to any position I want. So I might bring it forwards or anything. So that needs a schematic, and it will get some quadruple compressed cobblestone when it gets it. Excellent. Well, this is fantastic. I am happy with that. That this is a, a sequence of machines that is now going to just sit here and eventually I'll be able to come back down and be like duh, 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 and there will have an, I will have my ridiculous high level cobblestone. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, quest completion episode. I'm starting to move towards slightly more extreme quests that need to be completed. So I'm just doing the setup at the moment. So I've put together the cows, I've put together the sewage, I've put together the um, the cobble. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm making progress. So I'll finish building this little sequence. I won't obviously need to film that because you've seen me do it for five times now. So therefore, you know the context. I've got to wait. I might add, I'll think of a way of, of adding in some extreme cobblestone gen. So I might put four or five of these extruders together, pouring cobble into the first machine. But um, other than that, I'll see you again soon for the next episode. Bye for now, guys.